Alright, here we go. Yeah, finish up the job. Oh, look at that. Give him a breakaway right off the I start. Know. <laughs> oh! Big save. That's, oh. Not, that's not fair. What a save. <laughs> okay, you gonna play defense or what? Is this what they say about Kadri? Does he play defense? <laughs> Oh. Okay, we'll end it there. From the London Knights of the Ontario Hockey League, Nazem Kadri. There's a stereotype that not many uh, of my community play hockey, and I think that's uh, that's the wrong stereotype. Here comes Kadri. So you're doing something that I think a lot of NHL players are reluctant to do, and that is you've signed with a Canadian team, huge expectations. You probably won't be able to go to the supermarket again for the next seven <laughs> years without being recognized. Why did you decide to go to Calgary? Um, yeah, of course. I mean, I'm a Canadian boy, so you know I love the country of Canada, and it's always been a, a pleasure to live here. So that was... Uh, you know, makes it easier for my family to come out and travel. And, and of course, the direction of the team on the ice is, mm -hmm. a, is a big draw for me. So, you know, I, I always appreciate a, a, you know, a strong, passionate fan base, you know, based on my history. I've been there before. <laughs> I know what to expect. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be Nazem Gadry who comes back from the broken thumb. You go in there as a Stanley Cup champion. That phrase sounds pretty good to you still. Amazing, amazing. And you got to bring the Stanley Cup here. We were in London, Ontario, where you grew up, where you played junior hockey. Uh, and among the places you took it was the mosque. And so we took some video that day. I just want to play you a nice. short excerpt. Here we go, all right. Okay, here we go. I'll just watch, you can watch this. It's a really special moment to see him bring it home, how he's inspired all the Muslim youth, even every single little Canadian boy, that if he can do it, they can all do it. For it to be at the mosque, I think it's never happened before, so it's a really good feeling, because then it feels like nothing is impossible. <laughs> I love that. What a fantastic day. And I mean, there's just so much joy in what we heard there. But I'm curious, for you, what was the day like? Uh, it was it was incredible. Even just watching that gives me uh, goosebumps. You know, I, I think uh, just anytime you get the opportunity to be the first to, to do anything is mm -hmm. uh, is quite the honor and the privilege. And you know, just being there, uh, you know, firsthand and just seeing the crowd and a lot of it was uh, you know was younger kids and, and kind of the next generation and. Uh, you know, for me, uh, I think that's a big part is just, you know, that, that next generation coming up and just understanding that uh, hockey is such a great sport. And, you know, if, if you, you know, work hard and you dedicate yourself to it, you know, you can achieve the, the highest of achievements. So it's, uh, it was an absolute honor to, to get that done. So we heard from some young people who say they're not only impressed by you, but inspired by you. Mm -hmm. I'll bet you in 10 or 15 years, there'll be some NHL players who will say that you were their inspiration. But what about for you? Who who blazed the trail for you? Where did you get your inspiration from? Um, no nobody really that I could you know specifically identify with, and you know I think that was uh, you know wasn't wasn't a problem. But I always felt you know I didn't really think anything of it when I was younger. But growing up, I kind of always started to ask more questions and just kind of wonder. And uh, you know I think it's great just you know kind of breaking that barrier and and just. Uh, you know, having hockey become a, a more diverse uh, sport just because, you know, I feel like there's a lot of um, wasted talent out there that might not, uh, you know, that might make it to that next level or might be in the next superstar that, you know, end up, uh, you know, giving up for, for various reasons. So uh, just to hear that I've been an uh, inspiration and, and uh, you know, it's, it's certainly motivating for me and uh, it's very exciting. Now, here we are in 2022, and, you know, I contrast all the joy in London, Ontario that day in late August with two months earlier. You guys in Colorado are playing St. Louis. You, you collide with the goaltender. Driving wide with a shot, loose puck. Down goes Bennington, puck swatted away. Kadri into him after the save. Bennington slow to get up. He doesn't appear to be okay here. But he got injured. Fans were mad. That's hockey. The part that isn't hockey, or at least shouldn't be hockey, is some of the reaction. And your wife mm. shared some of the social media posts that are so ugly, we can't. We have to blur out some of the words uh, on the air. Um, it was disgusting. Mm. I mean, how, how was it for you? Um, well, of course, I've kind of had some experience handling this in, in the past. You know, you just got to understand there's, there's some ignorant people out there, and, and they shouldn't uh, have any sort of influence on your confidence or, or who you are or your character. 
and uh, you know I think that's what I've been been good at. Um, you know it's it's been hard at times, and um, you know but I refuse to to let those people impact my career and how I feel about myself and other people. There's some very ignorant you know, uneducated people out there that know nothing about um, culture. One of the nice things was the, the huge support you got immediately. You know, I, I feel like maybe 25 years ago, I don't know, but maybe some people would say, just suck it up, you know, that's just mm -hmm. life. This time around, a lot of people were saying, that's not acceptable, and we stand w with NASM. How was the league during all of this? Did you get support from the NHL? Um, I don't believe, if, I think maybe a statement was made or, or something, but I mean, um, you know, I know they obviously don't condone that type of behavior, nor should they. You know, in terms of the home city, you know, the Denver mm -hmm. crowd, I was in Colorado and, you know, I came home and I just, I remember after that game vividly, uh, just, you know, receiving a super welcoming welcome home from our mm -hmm. home crowd. It was really one of the most amazing things I've ever experienced wow. in the game of hockey during a playoff game in the midst of all this competition. You managed to respond, as you probably often do, on the ice, three goals in the next game. Uh, you scored a lot of big goals last year, including in, the over, in an overtime in the finals. Uh, but some people felt that maybe there were too many men on the ice. Pretty simple. The game-winning goal was scored with too many abs on the ice. You decided to, uh, to roll with that. Here's a picture of you at the Stanley Cup <laughs> celebration wearing a yep, t-shirt. It's a great and, Sally. <laughs> and we've got, absolutely, and we've got a copy of the t-shirt here. And so you kind of turn that into mm -hmm. a, a positive, too many men, yeah, uh, yeah. both for that moment, but also for your foundation. Tell us mm -hmm. about that. You know, there was all, all this controversy about what, ha what had happened and, you know, obviously it's, you know, their kind of theories, whatever, you know, transpired during the goal was, uh, you know, obviously there's officials out there and um, and the fluidity of the game just kind of happens. But, yeah, I ended up just trying to have some fun with it. And uh, uh, all proceeds went to the Nazem Kadri Foundation. And uh, we ended up, you know, I think doing over $200,000 wow. in sales. And, uh, you know, all for, for great, great reasons. Yeah, the fans showing me love and just trying to support and, uh, and donate, which is something I, uh, you know, I, I, was, I was almost overwhelmed with. So mm -hmm. it was very cool. And in terms of hockey culture, a lot of people have been questioning it for a lot of reasons. I'm going to ask you specifically in terms of the way that people of color um, are, are dealt with uh, in terms of hockey culture. You obviously love the sport, and mm -hmm. you've done really well at it, and you talk about all the support that you get. How would you describe for people what the hockey culture is in, in Canada? I think it's like a tight-knit community. It's almost like a family, really. Uh, you know, all, all of my teammates that I've had, you know, I can't really picture or you know off the top of my head think about any bad ones you know i've had all great experiences you know i think it's taught me a lot of great lessons and you know my favorite part of it is just you know that you know social aspect too is just getting mm -hmm. in a dressing room and, and being in a room full of guys being all on the same team pulling on the same rope i think it's uh you know you find a lot of you find a lot about yourself in those you know crucial crucial moments can I finish with an awkward question? Well, I will anyway. Sure. I'm going to ask you this awkward question. When are the Leafs going to win the Cup? <laughs> That's for other people to answer, not me. <laughs> you got a chance to play for the Leafs. Is there still a warm... And, and of course, you left under, mm -hmm. you know, like uh, it must have been difficult to leave the team. Is there still a, a warm spot in your heart for them? Of course, of course. I still got a lot of friends on that team and, you know, ones that I talk to, you know, pretty regularly. I obviously live in Toronto, so I think uh, the city is always going to hold a special place in my heart. And I just, you know, I had so much pride and, you know, playing for that team and wearing that jersey. So that's uh, something that's never going to change. And uh, it's always going to be a part of me and my career and part of who I am. And, uh, you know, of course, I just, I wish him nothing but the best. But now it's all about Calgary. <laughs> yeah, but I'd rather win. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. No problem.